Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you this very unique video transition that you can use in Adobe Premiere Pro. It really creates this really cool morphing effect. I recently saw this on a TikTok video, so I thought I'd show you guys how to recreate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's just get straight into it. So right here, we're in Adobe Premiere Pro with our footage. I actually got this footage from Envato Elements, which is also the sponsor of this video. With Envato Elements, you can get a subscription where you get access to hundreds and thousands of video templates, sound effects, stock video and photo, and basically anything photo, video, and design. I've been using assets from their marketplace for over two years now for projects that I work on, and I would definitely recommend it. If you wanna to subscribe to Envato Elements, I'll leave a link in the description, but let's get back to the video. So right here, I placed two different markers at two different points in time. Those two markers are where I wanna make the transition, and I'm gonna explain why I selected these points. So I'm just gonna delete the middle portion right here. So we're gonna start with a zoomed in shot like this, and I wanna basically morph out very similar to if we would do like a smooth zoom blur transition, except we're gonna be using this morph effect. So there's a couple things you wanna keep in mind when you do this effect. First, you wanna make sure that the subject is lined up in the same spot. So what I mean by this is my subject's in the middle here in the first clip, and my subject's also in the middle in the second clip. You wanna also make sure that it's a very similar situation in terms of like the background, because this is actually very similar to like a crossfade transition. And the smoothest crossfade transitions actually come when the two clips are very similar. You'll also notice her arms here are moving outward. And in the second clip, her arms are also outward. And this was on purpose so that it makes that dissolve a lot smoother as well. So basically all you wanna do is go to effects and you wanna search up morph. So it's under video transitions, dissolve, and you wanna just drag it on. You wanna also keep in mind that you're not able to actually do this effect at the beginning or end of a clip. And what I mean by this is, let's just say we take two random clips and we try to apply the transition between the two. It'll say insufficient media. This transition will contain repeated frames. And so this effect actually won't work. It'll actually look very jittery if this happens. And the reason why is because this is a dissolved transition, meaning it uses data from the other clip to create this dissolve. Meaning, for example, in this situation, in a normal dissolved transition, it would use the frames after this point right here to dissolve into the other one. So we could actually theoretically add the morph cut if we delete this portion and it'll work perfectly fine because there are uh, actual frames after this point. And they actually use these frames after the point where we cut in order to create the transition. But if there are no frames before or after our clip, they're not able to do that transition. Hopefully that makes sense. So once again, if we do try to apply the morph cut it won't let you basically because there's not enough data after this point like there's no frames after this portion in this clip and there's not enough frames before this portion of the clip in order to create a good transition so right here we just rendered out our video and now we can see how this looks like and you can see this looks really nice so this is a good example of the use of this transition but i'm going to show you how this could uh, turn slightly different if we were to use like a different portion of this clip uh, because I actually made it seem very seamless just based off placement. But let's say we uh, use a different clip that's very similar, for example. So I'm going to put on this clip, which is basically the same background and everything. But if we just carelessly did not think about the positioning and we just applied this uh, transition, I'm going to show you how this would look like. So now if we press play right here, you can see there's some sort of like flickering and it personally doesn't look really good. You could treat this as like an experimental thing and it may look good in a montage of videos, but I personally don't think this looks good as like a clean uh, transition. Uh, you'll sort of go from this as the main subject and it morphs into the right side of the clip. So you can see right here, the girl moves towards the right and it morphs into the right. So it isn't as seamless as a transition as you uh, maybe want it to be just based off positioning and how it sort of uh, clashes right here. You can see that there's like this weird jump cut, which is actually the opposite of the purpose of this effect, right? So if you wanted to make it a little bit better, um, even though I wouldn't recommend using maybe this clip for this, is you would maybe wanna go to effect controls and you might wanna move uh, this person right here to the left a little bit so that this person's centered so that it actually transitions a little better because this person's in the center here. So that way it doesn't have to morph all the way to the right. So I'm gonna show you how that little change actually affects this effect a lot. So right here, we're gonna press play. 
you can see that's a little bit smoother there's not that jitteriness that we saw before so that's why i uh, would recommend you sort of line up the positioning as well as get the right clips for this sort of transition and also i like to mention that this works a lot better on slower clips like perhaps even slow-mo clips because the transition uh, seems a little bit more organic because in a fast-paced uh, environment this may look very weird especially if you lower the duration of this transition and you would do this by just making this uh, a little bit smaller right here because when you do this you don't really see the effect uh, the morphing happens really quick and so in a fast-paced environment it might not look that good so here you can see in a faster uh, transition environment it does not look good like it, it literally looks like it just flickers so that's why i would recommend it for a little bit of a slower clip um if you're shooting in 60 fps it might be ideal because you can actually slow down your clip but yeah that's about it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the thumbs up button you can also check out my facebook group as well as my discord channel if you want to connect with different people in our community and yeah that's about it if you enjoyed make sure to hit the thumbs up button my name is steven and i'll see you in the next one Oh, 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 oh,